Good evening, my followers. Lately, I've heard you've been listening to Chris Chan mumbling on a stack about things called the Dimensional Merge. And to truly understand this complete abhorrent descent from all things reality, we are now going to explore Chris's versions or his fantastical, fantastical, phantasmal versions of dimensions in this fantasy section of his Quictionary. Life is a cartoon. We are all the characters of the larger, the... How is it... Life is a cartoon. We are all the characters of the larger. I honestly want to stop the video right there. I, I didn't even bother to look at this before I uploaded the thing. How is... You know, it's not necessarily unlikely that, you know, Jesus of Nazareth and thousands of pe thousands of other people were in the times of Jesus 2,000 years ago were dyslexic or not. But even then, I think they could have had it hacked a better job than this. <clears throat> we are... The cartoons we make are part of our own universe. We're all a reality cartoon. Um. Hmm. Well, that's that's kind of a little bit of an interesting one, but uh, if if this thing was like completely rewritten, then I suppose maybe it would have made a little bit more sense. But uh, nothing about this is going to make sense, as you will see. Accepting the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit as an accurate description of reality, I think that basically sums up everything wrong with this article, doesn't it? <laughs> Chris believes that established media franchises and fictional characters, including his own, exist in parallel universes that he calls dimensions, labelled uh, alphanumerically reality cartoons or toon worlds that are inhibited by OCs and by men who call themselves Maximilian Pegasus, and separated by the iron curtains that make up the fourth wall. Such an unusual metaphysical system has been with Chris since at least 2010, and has roughly in its modern form even some months before the Idea Guys publicly exploded onto the scene in November 2017. Basically, 10 years after the first notes of trolling by Chris were occurring. But has become the um, uh, agglomerate it is today, largely with their and other enablers leaven since. This article seeks to catalogue the various unusual, often self-aggrandizing alternate worlds that Chris believes to exist. My god, this is like a mouthful. Speaking of mouthful, look at this. Main dimensions, miscellaneous dimensions. Basically, you would have thought we were under attack from a plague of science nerds. And what the hell is C911? What the hell is that? Anyway. <clears throat> Background. Chris's belief in multiple cartoon dimensions existing may have stemmed from the South Park episode Imagination Land which involved a realm where fictional characters and imaginary creations could mingle with each other. It may also be noted that the Toon World is the name of a Yu-Gi-Oh card, exactly, providing yet an further evidence that Chris has no originality whatsoever. Chris accepts multiverse cosmology as objective fact and uses it as a vehicle to justify his belief that cartoons are real. And before you ask, ladies and gentlemen, they're not lying. This is literally what Chris has come to accept as reality. He was likely exposed to it for the first time in the Family Guy, ep Family Guy episode, Road to the Multiverse. It's important to point out that the infamous second call between Chris and Alec took place between, which took place on the 28th of January 2010, occurred only four months after the original air date of the episode. In recent years, Chris has become much more vocal about his belief in multiple universes. 
he invoked the existence of an alternate reality when expressing his disapproval of President Trump in emails with Doobie Doo over and in an interview with Count Dankula. Much of Chris's modern lexicon of the names of the dimensions come from the Marvel Comics multiverse. Once again, Chris is lack of intelligence as well as originality is just something he's always managed to hold on to. Shockingly. This possibly comes from a discussion with a Marvel Comics writer in July of 2018. Even though the writer stated that the Marvel multiverse is a fictional construct, it's also notable to mention that Chris has was so easily manipulated by the idea guys, in part because he had invoked the multiverse theory which immediately garnered Chris's attention. In reality, well, th there is that, but there is also uh, the, uh, the, Mar the, uh, the, De the, uh, the Justice League movie uh, Crisis on Two Earths and the, 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 uh, the, the event comic called Crisis on Infinite Earths. There are plenty of things in... Why is he just adopting this from Marvel's sort of like multiverse theory? What about DC's multiverse theory? That would be somewhat interesting. I mean, imagine what would happen if somebody invoked the idea that the anti-monitor was coming to delete all of uh, Chris's characters, including including the whole of Quickville. And since he incorporated so many fictional characters from other dimensions, they are going to be deleted as well. Hmm. Makes you think, doesn't it? And what about things like, uh, in well, who was that? Who was that other character, uh, Psycho Pirate? I think he was in uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, where he was sent to be like some kind of. It's been a very long time since I read uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, but I think wasn't he supposed to be like the messenger between Earths? And there is also something called like Superboy Prime, who comes to almost murder Superman at some point and then Flash dies and then Supergirl dies and a, a lot of a lot of things go down. <clears throat> also, just before we move on from that, uh Linkara has there's like I think he's done like a five part series on the comic itself and I recommend you guys or even checking out Marvel's Secret Wars if that's anything to go by. Further things that also Chris decide not to incorporate. <clears throat> In reality, dimensions are not parallel universes, but rather directions you can move in within a universe. Our current reality contains three dimensions of space, length, width, height, slash depth, and one dimension of time. Dimensions are also relative to the observer, and speaking of the third dimension, it's like looking at a water bottle and asking which ounce is the third ounce. Comic book physics does not equate to real life physics. Is what they're trying to say. Main dimensions. Not that Chris knows this. And once again, I like to imagine that does Chris just seem to believe that anything he writes, therefore in school, no matter how contradictory to the laws of science and history were true, does this mean Chris will openly accept that he can be right about anything so he can further throw his hand into the delusions of godhood in his own comics? Not that he really writes the comics anymore, not even for money. Does he even bother to do that? And finally, has Chris actually ever read a comic book in his life? Main Dimensions C-197 C-197 houses not only Quickville, but also the ton of our other fictional individuals of The Simpsons, Captain America, Batman. Well, with Batman, you're going to have to be quite specific. Are you talking about Gotham City? Because there are plenty of other characters who live in Gotham City and the resident districts uh, like Burnside, which is supposed to be like this upper class uh, area of uh, Gotham, which is usually frequented by university students and whatnot. Eric Cartman, that's very specific. You should be so, so Eric Cartman just exists. Why would you want Eric Cartman to exist in this? He's a hellraiser. There's no way you, you, you... Kim Possible, Meg Griffin, Optimus Prime, Papa Smurf, Inuyasha, Ash Ketchum, all of the Pokemon. Chris. Chris, did you only have like five seconds to write this? 
he hasn't established really anything apart from just characters that he wants and so forth. Digimon. Kind of surprising he put a Digimon there, but there you are. Everything else surprises me. And so forth. Sunset, Shimmer, and the Cantalot High Group, with the Portal to Equestria there too. The CPUs and all, all the many others as well. You imagine it. Unless it exists in an alternate setting, like where World War II never happened, it will be there. Hmm. C197 is the primary dimension of Chris's fantasy. The name is based off the fictional dimension of C137 from Rick and Morty. It includes Quickville and all other creations Chris has produced over the years, as well as various creations by other companies and people, such as Transformers, My Little Pony, Products of Hasbro, and all the other Sonichu OC, as well as non sonichu examples as well, though only conditionally. The geography of this dimension is dubious, to say the least, with Quickville itself behaving much more like Springfield from The Simpsons, expanding and contracting as need arises. You know, with somebody actually with... This is like one of those... Fl I need to close the windows, somebody's using a drill outside. Who works on a Sunday anyway, that's... I must be honest guys, it, it's probably been the first time actually, it wasn't a drill, it was all like a, like a wood chipper somebody was using. Anyway, where were we? Expanding and contracting as need arises. As heaven. Chris considers C197 to be his version of heaven, an afterlife populated by characters from his favourite media franchises as well as the spirits of his deceased pets and father, and possibly those of others as well. In a May 2019 tweet, replying to someone whose father had passed away, oh, this is going to be great, Chris attempted to comfort the woman by telling her that her father's spirit was likely in C-197. Oh boy. I am really sorry to hear that about your father. It really is a shocker when someone passes on the spot like that. Apparently, in cases like that, destiny and fate needed him and had plans that are out of reach of or re 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 negotiation at the moment. But rest assured, your father's soul is served a good and greater purpose where he is right now. Likely in C-197, helping out there through his self-bot counterpart's body. Fortunately for the brief, Chris's account was private at the time. <sighs> Thank God for that. I mean, listen, I believe in, like, God and heaven and all that. But that doesn't mean I have to immediately, you know, throw everybody into the same boat. Meaning that just because I believe it means that everyone else has to. That's another problem with Chris and all this. He seems to think that everyone is suddenly going to believe in him. C-137. According to Chris's Animal Crossing antics, Twilight Sparkle's ship, ship Thick Folder card, any and all realms featured in the video game Animal Crossing exist in a sub-dimension of C-197, designated C-139. Taking this into account, this would therefore include the villagers of the pre-infamy Animal Crossing videos of yore. Animal Crossing representations of Chris and his creations. Uh-huh. Gallery, the Commodore phone only released in C197, which is a f basically it's it's a Razer cell phone. Basically, that's what he's built. 1218. 1218 is the dimension we reside in, consisting of reality. Chris asked Marvel Comics writer Seanan McGuire which dimension number represents the Earth that we are currently occupying. Seanan responded with the Marvel Universe considered answer. Ca canonical answer Earth 1218, which Chris interpreted the answer to mean she was speaking about the literal Earth. Maguire sadly did not know what they were at, she was getting herself into. Is, is Shanana Maguire a, a woman? I'm not quite sure. Chris then began using 1218 to refer to reality's dimension. 
Chris believes that 1218 and its Earth is temporary and slated to end soon. Fantastic. Presumably within his lifetime. With the merge allegedly currently in progress, Chris believes that through, though that he is only a normal human with no supernatural powers or abilities, no matter how many times he says the otherwise, some powers from his C-197 counterpart have seeped into his 1218 body. Actually, you know what? To be fair to Chris, he's not wrong about, you know, Earth-1218 ending in his, in his lifetime, because by the time his life ends, he may there may as well be no Earth, because where will he be then? If he can't prove that, you know, when, you're, if, when, when he's dead, he won't be able to prove that Earth still exists, but he won't be able to prove that it doesn't either, because, you know, g goodness knows where he'll be after that. 1C-12-21-1987 A mashup of the other two dimension names, this would be the combined dimension of the fictional world C-197 and our reality, which Chris believes will occur within the dimensional merge. Miscellaneous Dimensions Chris believes in several alternate dimensions, flimsy stand-ins to cope with inconsistencies or to dismiss any conflicts with his safe space fantasy dimension of C-197. <laughs> oh god, an artist's portrayal of C-197. I don't even know if I can really put this further. But during the Stone Age. Oh god. Um, R-R-687. R R687 represents the universe based on the fanfiction Sonichu vs. SNT, written by Opokuson987, known in the Kiwi farms as Something Random, Something Random 987. This is brought up on 9th of October 2019, after de Chris declares his disapproval of the series and his attempts to distance to anything SNT related from his universe. It's described as a home for a Batman who laughs at everything from the Joker and a one great massive mess. But like everything else, to be honest. C642. C6 S S642. S642 is the universe where the fighting game Skullgirls takes place. It was first mentioned in the Twilight Sparkle ship fic folder called Plotted Device where a robot of the same name was created to house the soul of Magi-chan of that dimension, X-686. X-686 is the home dimension of the Kiwi Farms. User Cedric underscore Elf's OCs, known residents are Dedulus the Daegu, Derek the dimension's counterpart of Magi-chan, and Keepler, a shape-shifting counterpart of Blake. How exactly did Sonichu all of a sudden suddenly turn into Inception? There is like so much. I, you know, why is there so much lore all of a sudden being brought into this? Just, I don't, I don't get it. C nine eleven. C nine eleven is another dimension with another doppelganger of Magi Chen. Right, that's literally it. Lego dimension. As the name suggests, the LEGO Dimension is the home of the LEGO versions of Chris and other OCs. Having played the Toys to Life video game LEGO Dimensions, which sees a plethora of licensed franchises interacting, Chris's reason for declaring the existence of this universe is clear. In June 2018, during the Count Dankula interview, Chris expressed his desire to visit the LEGO Dimensions in the midst of his Twilight Sparkle sh ship fic folder card producing spree. Chris produced two cards of the for the Lego Dimension, Sonichu and Rosechu. And you can see that here it's literally just them, you know, as Legos. There you go. ZX-49. ZX-49, known as the MacBook Pro Dimension. I'm having difficulty just getting this out is the home dimension of all the OCs created by Aqua Diamond 8. CS89, home dimensions of Dungeons and Dragons, used by Chris as a part to his rationalization over the tantrum over Project SNT's redesigns of his OCs. I remember that happening. 
it was one of the most barbaric things I think you could ask anyone to do. Somebody created fan art for you and Chris responded by literally throwing a tantrum and as opposed to just saying thank you. CZ69. The home dimension of cartoons such as Teen Titans Go, Pony Life and other similarly styled cartoons. Mostly ones that Chris absolutely hates. Now I don't particularly think he hates Teen Titans Go but he doesn't like Pony Life. H684. The home dimension of Itzy and Topher, a counterpart of Sarah Rose Chew and Robbie Sonichu, Chew respectively. Hooray. 1214. The only major difference between this dimension 1218 and 1214 is that Michael Jackson lived a few more years and put out two more albums. Talking about old age and the feeling of veering on death and not wanting to be old while feeling young. He still OD'd at uh, his time of death. Ride or Die is one of his 1214 Sir Jackson songs. This, the Chris from Dimension 1214 has for a time in mid-2020 possessed 1218 bodies, so that Chris wouldn't have to pretend to be Sonichu. What? Um, wait, hang on. So Chris made a dimension where the Chris from that world, from 1214, would possess Chris who was role-playing as Sonichu, so he wouldn't have to... You see, this is what happens when you give Chris money. This is what happens when you give him ideas. He will steal them and literally just put them in his work. And then will come up with some BS excuse to explain why he's absolutely in the right. In spite of everything. C194. C194 is the sister dimension to 1214. The Chris who was traveling between these two dimensions escaped from the war between Neo... Milwaukee and Quickville after C-194's Chris conducted the Soda Rain Holocaust. This is getting worse and worse by the second. This all happened in the Alpha timeline though, not our one, which is the Omega timeline. That means absolutely nothing and I couldn't care less. N-641. N-641 is a nightmare counterpart of C-197, where Chris, as Sonichu claimed, Overscorn 987 sent him along with Project SNT by force. The dimension is also notable for being for airing the Chris Chan show. And by the way, if I really, really wanted to, I might even do a delusion and enablers category here because look how much we have to remove kebab dance. What is that? Three stands for our world, Slav Squad. Look at all of this. People appropriated by Chris and OCs, Dr. Wolf, and Project SNT. Just look at all of this. Even bisexual beliefs instilled by Chris, call to the idea. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Have you guys, how many of you ever heard of the expression, you know, stranger than fiction? Meaning that some things that happen in the real world could literally not be written if you could if you even tried. This is one of those occasions, all stemming from I'm going to if I haven't, I'm going to make a very, very extensive video talking about the idea, guys, because by the time Gino Samuel gets to talking about the idea, guys, possibly by the end of May, the beginning of June is probably when we'll get to that because it occurred in late 2017. There is a lot of choice things I want to say because I also have to discuss openly about what Chris was like before and after that. So I've just straight up decided because I'm blown away. I really, really am. But with all that being said and done, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye for now. If you can comprehend any of this.